so welcome to my next desk update um i've had a bit of an issue um i i'm just really not happy with that bit um and the way that i'm cutting the beams it wasn't very good um however in a future video you will see um uh, a, a new year christmas new year present that i received from a from a youtube uh, viewer um i am just so chuffed with it um i am so excited um, this project now I'm using two Christmas presents from YouTube viewers and I love them both um, The people involved is Ver Wayne um, So thank you very very much for the uh, for the mitre saw and uh, P40F20. Thank you so much for the electric screwdriver um, It has helped me out immensely um, before the electric screwdriver I was using a drill so I'm drilling a pilot hole, changing the uh, the drill bit, doing the counter sink, did um, taking that out, put the screwdriver bit in, bang, and I'm doing that for virtually every screw. Um, now that I've got the electric screwdriver, it's got a quick change bit on the end. Um, so I drill the pilot hole with the drill. I put the drill down, counter sink bit with the screwdriver works perfectly well. Quick change the bit to a screwdriver bit. It's just saved me so much time anyway i'm waffling on i do apologize so there's been a change of plan what i'm going to do is um i need to kind of the the desk is an important bit the bed is the important bit once the bed is made i need to um i need to make the way some way of getting into the bed but i can't make the ladder or steps until I know how high the bed is um, and I also I have this problem that if you sh if you say numbers to me um, 30 centimeters how big is 30 centimeters unless I've actually got a ruler and um, but better still if I can actually see something um, so I want to I want to go step backwards with the desk um, and I came up with the idea my next project after I've done the bed is going to be the one minute workshop which I will explain more about much later on but then the third project is going to be the one minute workbench storage box and I had this idea that maybe I could use that as a step so I want to see how tall it is so that's going to be my next project however to make accurate cuts i'm struggling with a circular saw so i'm um, first project is going to be a what do they call it a track a, a saw track um, so it's a little guide and you put your circular saw on and you can make cuts so this video is me making the tracks saw track not track saw saw track so um yeah in a minute you'll see the video of me making it and then I'll do a little summary in the end of how I thought I got on. Remember I'm not a DIYer. Um, this is probably the second time I've played with wood and I'm learning all the time. So let's see how I got on. Okay, so what you're seeing here is a real Lowell and Hardy film, and I do uh, I do apologise for that. I'm I'm not an expert DIYer. Um, what I'm actually doing here is I'm setting up uh, a 12 mil piece of ply, and about now you'll see me bring in a 6 mil ply. Um, and what I've decided to do, I've decided to cheat, and I'm going to clamp them both together, and I'm going to cut them both as one piece. Um, this will give me two pieces uh, which are the same length um, obviously you need a track saw to make a track saw um, and I haven't got one so um, what I'm doing here is I'm just measuring a piece that's um, there's no actual dimensions needed for a track saw you just need the inside is the important bit um, so I've gone for something slightly too big rather than too small and what I've done is I've clamped down a piece of wood exactly the same distance each side. Um, I'm keeping an eye on the track uh, on the saw horses because obviously I don't want to saw through the saw horses. Now one mistake I've made you'll see a bow in the middle it was a bow a minute ago. Um, what I really should have done is just placed uh, a piece of wood or two pieces of wood underneath. Um, 
to stop it from bowing, but this is a mistake I make and I'll deal with it. Um, but the most important thing is that I'm using that factory edge uh, as the first, the first cut. So I do take my time checking, testing. Um, I think the footage is about half an hour. The raw footage is about half an hour. Um, and all I've done is three cuts. Um, but that's fine. I've got all the time in the world. So now I'm making the first cut. And as you see, once we get to about the middle, it really starts to sag um, to the point that I've got to hold my hand down onto that piece of wood. Um, and you also see that the, uh, the laser guide fell off, um, which I thought was quite funny. The vibrations of the saw, it's a cheap saw, um, it's a good one, um, but it's good for the price that I paid, which is not an awful lot. Um, and the actual screw snapped, which I thought was quite amusing. It's, it's not a feature that I'm using because when I've made the, uh, the actual saw, uh, the actual workshop, that's gonna be mounted upside down and used as a table saw. Um, so I've done my first two cuts. So um, what I'm now working out is how much gap in the middle I need for the actual track saw. So what I'm now doing is I'm cutting the uh, 12 mil ply into two pieces. And one's gonna go on one side and one's gonna go on the other. Um, there I'm testing the cut. Um, haven't got it switched on, um, but I'm just seeing where the blade falls. Um, obviously if I had like 40 years experience I would just go bang bang and I would just know um, but I'm setting these up with clamps so I'm going to cut that uh, cut a strip off now if you notice on the circular saw um, the motor is actually on one side oh this is the point where the neighbor came down and um, I did promise her I'd cut the footage out um, but her head's not in it so I don't need to, to uh, to cut it out but yeah she's gone now but she was obviously you get a neighbor come down she wants to know what i'm up to she was interested she said if i need anything um so there's the cut going in now so that's going to be the piece that goes on the left hand side which needs to be a little bit longer to, to cope with the motor and then i'm going to cut this next strip down um smaller and that will be the right hand side and then I think I'll be calling it a day, um, but I do need to just cut that little strip down a little bit more um, to make the end stops. Um, but once I've done this, I realize I've got no screws. Um, so I actually go down to the shop afterwards and I bought some 25 mil screws. So what you'll see me do is screw these pieces in and then the screws will be too long. So I'll just cut them down with the Dremel. Um, but I'll just leave you with uh, with me cutting uh, this last piece off and I noticed that as the pieces get smaller the cuts get much easier um, so yeah there we go now dust flying everywhere um, so there you go so that's actually a little bit too long I think too big um, so the piece that I intended to use I'm actually going to be using the off cut um, so you see me measuring it up so that's it then so I'll let you I'll just finish up the footage uh, and I'll see you in the next clip <laughs> Okay, so it's the next day. I've gone out and got a bit of wood. I just want to turn those saw horses into a bit of a, a sort of an on-the-go table. Um, so I've just got a bit of wood, um, just something big enough to fit. I've cut it roughly in half, spread them out, and as you can see now, I've got a, a fairly sturdy table. So the next thing is to lay the, uh, the six mil ply down. This is going to be the base. Um, and then I'm placing the two 12 mil bits of ply on. Um, now you don't need to worry about getting this square because what's important is that straight edge on the 12 mil ply. Um, so here I am, I'm about to start screwing it in. Um, now my drill cord isn't long enough 
Um, so what I actually have to do is start drilling in from one end and then turn the whole thing around and do the other. Um, but just to begin with, I just, I just screw in just a single hole, um, just to make sure, no sorry I've gone for two. Um, so I screw all of this whole thing in and uh, and then uh, yeah I just get it all screwed in. Now word of warning you'll see later on the screws that I've got are actually too small uh, too large for this I couldn't get 12 mil screws um, so here I am I'm just screwing the screw hole in. Now I have used I think 24 mil um, screws so what I've done later on is I'm just cutting the ends off um, so yeah this is uh, this is me putting all the screws in you'll see a couple of times I accidentally screw it to the uh, bit of wood underneath um, so it does need a bit of adjustment Now, unfortunately, um, I lost some footage on the uh, on the end of this clip, um, so I've got to kind of explain what I've done. Um, so once I've got that first side in, I've then just screwed the other side in just with a single screw on each end. Um, and what I've done is I've placed the uh, the circular saw on plus a piece of card, and then popped this the next side in just to give me a slight gap. Um, and that's the bit and I just screwed it all along um, I then took off a couple of bits of off cut stuck them on the end to make a, a stop block and because I lost the footage what I've done is I'm sort of trying to walk past um, the camera here to show you what I've done so I do apologize for losing that footage I, I don't know what happened it's uh, it's a camera that I've really not used very well and most of the time I've used it I've used it for pictures um, but onwards and upwards so this pit bit I've now turned it over and um, all I'm doing is I'm just uh, taking the, the the ends of the screws off with the Dremel um, now be very careful if you do this I notice that those those cut off bits stay hot for a very very long time um, so just be careful uh, and of course the best way to find out if they've been cut properly is to run your finger over the end um, so yeah so I'll just carry on doing this Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm setting the blade depth for an absolute tiny amount. We want to run this saw along and we just want to slightly score the top. This is just going to give us a marker line. Um, and in a minute I should hold up. There we go. So we've got a very faint line. Um, and then what we want to do is um, I'm calling them peep holes. We need to drill. I think I drilled five peep holes. Um, so what you'll do is you'll place this track saw on the line that you've drawn but every now and again you'll have larger holes oops there me my hat fell off um, so you'll you'll see these little peep holes it'll just make it a little bit easier just to see the um, uh, the lines underneath um, and, and the way I've done this um, I've got I think it's called a spade bit and what you do is you drill just a little bit on the top uh, and then you turn it over and you, you complete it from underneath and that reduces tear out um, now my drilling skills are obviously very very poor because I did get quite a lot of uh, tear out um, but it's it's not really a problem it doesn't look 
professionally and fantastic done, um, but it's still extremely functional. Um, so once that's done, you then run the, the uh, circular saw through, and then that gives you uh, the proper cup. And in a moment, what I'll do is I'll try and walk the, uh, the circular saw past the camera, and then that's job done. So in my next video, you'll see that get used. So, um, as you can see, I'm a slow worker. That's taken me two mornings, um, about two hours yesterday and two hours today. Obviously, I'm making the video as soon as I, I came out. Um, it's I'm, I'm quite a slow worker. Um, I have to think three or four times what I'm doing because I'm not so experienced with wood. Um, thankfully, this project it doesn't need to necessarily be pleasing to the eye. Um, I've done things like tear out um, and quite a lot of mistakes have been made. Um, don't worry, I've learned from every single mistake. Um, I'm wondering if the tear out on the actual blade, uh, on the actual track, I wonder if I went too fast for the circular saw. So next time I make some cuts, I'll probably do a couple of practice cuts and I'll I'll try one cut really, really fast, and then I'll try another cut really, really slowly. Um, you know, you re this is one thing you can't necessarily tell from YouTube videos because most people who make videos actually speed the footage up. So you'll see them pushing something through like this. So how fast is it? Is it normal speed? Is that the actual speed you put it through? Maybe it's 10 times and I should be putting it through like that. I don't know. This is all stuff that I need to uh, pick up on experience with. However, I've got, I now have a saw track. Um, it just needs a little bit of tidying up, um, but I'm not going to worry about that until, um, until I've got a table saw. Um, it's just the edges are a little bit off, um, like the actual outside edges. That's not important. It's a track in the middle with a little hole down the middle. So yeah, I'm really, really pleased with this project. Um, it could have gone better, obviously, but it, it could have gone a lot, lot worse. So thanks for watching and look out for my next desk up, update. I don't know when it's going to be. Um, I'm just literally putting them out when I have something to update. So, thank you very much guys.